So what she got left as she comes down the aerial slide now, the hands go into those safety loops, and when she sets off, she'll know Alison is close behind her, she'll know that Hamish is closing, she'll know that Cecilia is there as well. It's going to be a marvellous finish, and watch her now for the landing, that's going to be so important. And she comes off and down into the water, I don't quite know what happened there, but she went right under the water. She's got a mouthful of water and mud, and she looks stunned, and she looks dazed, and she's in some trouble at the end. Now, can Alison make something of this? She'll need a good landing at the end here too, she's going to catch Marion, and that's not too bad at all and Marion's under that net and she does look as though she's in trouble. She came out of that water looking very stunned indeed. Hamish is coming down now. He's got a chance as well. But can Marion hold on to the end? That's the big question at this moment. But those feet come up and that's a terrific landing by Hamish. So look at Alison on the far side. She's closing up on Marion. Marion is definitely struggling at the end but she's got a lot of gut. She's got a lot of stamina and she fights now to cross the line and over she comes in first place. Magnificent run. The great recovery. Ten points to Marion enchanter Alison the great run all the way and here she comes in second place with six points and it's Hamish third with four points well a fantastic run it really has been Marion's year on the assault course she won the race in her heat she won her group final and now the grand final and she has also won the trophy for the fastest woman on the course this year so well done Marion the fastest man and the winner of that trophy was Ted Daskovich and adding in the points from this race puts her further into the lead with a Krypton factor of 38. Cornwall's Marion Chanter.